Hey, aloha my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. So we've got some fun stuff to show you today. A handy little project for uh, around the house, especially if you have GoPros or if you do any kind of filming or videoing. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so yesterday I did a live stream um, in my garage. It was an upgrade to the control board for the Monoprice Maker Select, or basically the DI3 platform printer. And I needed to be able to show a downward camera angle onto the build surface so I could show how I was interacting with inside the control box for the printer. And I didn't have any way to suspend or mount a camera. Um, I could have probably rigged something up on a mic boom or something else, but I came up with a very practical way just to use the tools that I had and the materials that I had around the house um, and to use my 3D printer to be able to fabricate a very quick down and dirty mount to allow me to suspend the camera from the beams inside the garage. So let me take you over to Fusion 360 and I'll show you how we, we did it. So I threw together a very quick design in Fusion 360 and I started off by doing a basic sketch here, which does not want to open for editing. There we go, edit sketch. Now, the dimensions show in millimeters, but I actually did this in imperial uh, inches because I was trying to target this to fit around a common 2x4 or a 2x6 beam uh, up in the rafters of the garage. And as anybody and everybody should know, a 2x4 is actually 1.5 by 3.5 dimensional. So I started off by creating quarter inch sides in this U-shape. It's just three simple boxes. Uh, so quarter inch sides and a half inch thick bottom. I then took and extruded this out so that we had a large space like that. I did a two inch extrusion on it. And then we added a hole on the bottom there, extruded that through as well. Now that was sized at 0 0.23, I believe it's 0 0.23, I'm sorry, 0 0.203125, which is the dimensional size for a hole to tap with a uh, quarter 20 tap. Um, I then decided I wanted to make that left side a little bit thicker, so I added another sketch there where you can see it's highlighted, extruded that out, so now that we have a half inch thickness on this plane, a half inch thickness on the bottom, and just a quarter inch on that side. Then added another hole on the, uh, the center there, extruded that through, and that's the same size as the hole on the other plane, and we ended up with a shape that looks like that. Um, so went ahead and exported this by going to make 3D print, made sure that send to 3D print utility was not selected. I go over and select my body, hit OK, and then I just tell it where I want it to go. From there, I just took it into my slicer of choice. I printed it with a 50% infill um, and a very fat 0.3 layer height just to get it nice and beefy and bulky. And uh, so let's go over and take a look at that. Okay, so we're back with it off the printer and have it assembled here. And what it does is it, it looks like this. Uh, I ran a quarter 20 tap through both the top and the bottom hole, but if you don't have a quarter 20 tap, you can just take and heat up your bolt and run it through a few times forcefully. Just use a, uh, a blow dryer or some sort of a flame or something uh, to heat up your bolt. And uh, because it is soft plastic, you can just thread it through. I used PETG for this just to give it a little bit more robustness um, with a hex infill pattern. and. Uh, I think a 50% uh, infill. 
And um, the bottom is just a three feet long piece of threaded rod, which all of your camera mounts, uh, whether it's for your GoPro like this, or any DSLR or anything, are just a standard quarter 20 thread. So when this is hanging from a beam, your camera will hang like that. Um, if you have a GoPro like this one that has a 90 degree adapter, and this is just the empty shell, but you can actually position it down or angle it however you want to, to get that. Um, in this case, the or in my case, I have a Logitech C922 uh, web camera, USB web camera, which also has the same quarter 20 standard tripod mount on the bottom. And so if you run a 2x4 down here, it just fits right over the 2x4 like that. You tighten up your wing nut until you feel a little bit of tension on it. And you now have a way to suspend your camera down from your ceiling. Um, yeah, that's not, not very straight looking, but it does hang down appropriately. Um, so this is what I used yesterday on the live stream for the Cohesion 3D upgrade to the DI3, and that's what allowed me to get the bench shots down onto the, uh, onto the tabletop where I was working. So instead of just seeing me front on like this, you were able to actually see the top down what I was working. And uh, to be able to, of course, open the garage door, one thumb screw, and it slops, pops right off. So anyway, um, I thought this was a, a good example of a practical print that's handy to have around the house. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. It was very down and dirty, quick in Fusion 360. Uh, again, it was three boxes, two holes. So it was a very quick, simple drawing. Thanks for sticking with us. If you like what we're doing, please be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.